the chances of Crawley Town finding a way into the top seven in Skybet League Two are about the same as the visitors to the People's Pension Stadium, Forest Green Rovers, catching Bolton Wanderers in the race for third. The away side are seven points off the automatic promotion spots after taking just one win in their last eight outings, including dropping two points against Exeter in midweek. But there is certainly a need to stay match sharp for Forest Green Rovers in order to cement their spot in the playoffs and to be ready for any sort of post-season football with Exeter, Salford and Carlisle all waiting to snatch themselves into the seventh spot or higher. It's a lovely ball to that far side of the field and a dribbling cross is turned away by McNerney. Corner to come. Plenty of room at the far post and a neat nod down too. Moore Taylor though, couldn't do much more with it. Adam stuck, now able to get it out of his feet and give it inside. Well work for the shot, but it's up and over from Bernard. Just thought the chance had perhaps run away with them. But Bernard able to cut inside on that left boot, sends it up over the top of the crossbar in the end. Stokes creeping forward. He's got a lot of room to move into as well. Suddenly the intensity goes up a notch when they get to the edge of the area. Bailey turning away from two defenders. Waiting on the edge of the area for the return pass as it's drilled into the side netting. Took a ricochet on the way through though. Look at the number of red shirts back behind the ball trying to deal with the danger. It's the away side have started really well in this game so far. Something from the training ground here as they all move from the edge of the box into the heart of it. Almost dropped down into the feet of Adams. Kept alive, punched away by Morris, who was under a lot of pressure and another corner to come. Not sure this was the intended outcome. They almost dropped right in front of the number eight there. Abu Adams sent back into the mix by Cargill. Had to be palmed away by Morris, although he thinks he should have a goal kick. Over down by Adams. The bounce almost bamboozling everybody. Richardson just needs a pullback. Can't find a teammate though. Collins wasn't high up enough the pitch to support. Adams has it once again. It's been a great catalyst so far for his side's attacks, but he gives it away. Maybe there's a chance on the counter-attack here as the red shirts start to move and turn defence into attack. Given away, though, with that final ball forward. And then he's scrapping for it in the middle of the park. Hessenthaler can't get it either. And suddenly the away side are in behind here. It's Collins. It's off target. Taking it around, Morris. And the goal gaping, it was just a little off balance, but just for a moment, Crawley Town falling asleep at the back and the number 10 in behind, and he should have finished it, really. Free kick, a little push in the back there from Powell. McGee launches it, Had too much backspin on it, the wind just catching it perhaps as well. It's a little blustery here. And the away side keep moving forward to the top of the area. Albeit stumbling and bumbling their way forward, it's well hit and just wide of the target. Collins again with another good chance, that one sat up to be struck. Does well initially to step inside and create the space and it drops to him in a pocket of space off the ricochet. Tony Craig sends it into the box. It's going to bounce all the way through almost. Steered away for the moment. Matthews couldn't get onto it. Frankham gives it to Matthews quickly with the throw. And he'll have a go and it was dipping and it's off the top of the crossbar. It looked like it was just going to go over, but at the last second, that little bit of topspin kept it down. And almost down enough to beat Luke McGee. And slip into the back of the net. It's a cracking effort. It's the best one Crawley have had so far. Brought down in the heart of the pitch. Given away, Adams on the charge. Suddenly there's plenty of space for the away side. Richardson 
has room to shoot and he fires it straight at the keeper. Had a clear sight at goal here. As once more the red shirts were a little static once they were dispossessed. Richardson taking the space, moving into the top of the area, firing at the keeper. A little surprised that we haven't seen the deadlock broken just yet with the upright being struck and Forest Green Rovers creating plenty of chances at the other end of the pitch. Collins. Good challenge initially. Richardson, though, in behind, and he could have squared it, and he gets a second chance, and well saved by Morris again. What an opportunity. The pace of Jaden Richardson just keeping up with the attack and burning through. Bailey was square, and he had two bites at the cherry and couldn't beat the keeper, and that header straight into Morris's body in the end. Lovely neat one and two touch passing there just for a moment, but the header from Madison is straight up into the air. Good swirling ball into the box, but again, Madison not with the correct contact he wanted with his head, and it's a comfortable collection for McGee. Lovely looping cross, hard to get the power though from that sort of position, the forward on his header. be a free kick chance to just clip it towards the top of the 18 yard box perhaps they go short though here it back across goal and Addison just trying to lay it off the shot is blocked from Matthews can't repeat the feat of the first half a chance perhaps for the away side to try and hit on a counter-attack a little slow to get forward but that's a lovely pass and well taken in stride too by Collins who gets down towards the byline just needs to pull it back oh it's missed unbelievably by Wilson the substitute how on earth did he not find the target all the hard work from Collins here undone it's underneath his feet initially good defending I suppose but that should have been 1-0 the back of Nadison. He's only got one in support at the moment. Moore arriving as he makes his way to the top of the box. Essenthaler a little slow to get forward and support the attack. Powell now. Whipped in by Davis. It's a good header but it's right at the keeper. Plenty of venom on the effort towards goal but Luke McGee standing strong and able to pluck it out of the air and keep a hold of it too. That long ball is still causing problems when Crawley do get the chance to get bodies forward. Like here, brought down, free kick. Whipped into the box and it's up and over again. Another good chance from a set piece. Tunnicliffe this time up from the back. Cracking delivery once more, but that one just doesn't stay down. Getting to last chance saloon for one of these sides to find a winner, and that is full time at the People's Pension Stadium. It's a draw, really, that helps neither side. Forest Green Rovers will sit two points clear of eighth place Salford with three games to go in Skybet League 2. Crawley's playoff chances are all but over now, aside from the mere mathematics of things. Neither side able to find a breakthrough in an entertaining affair, but it finishes on as even. Crawley Town nil, Forest Green Rovers nil. <laughs>